they are the most rare cases also na there are rare they can bite see it's a python only they are animals any okay. animal can bite even jet black color of the top cell the head exactly looks like a snake they have the world second largest tortoise species is it monkey bro yeah it's like kind of monkey fam monkeys only they are world second smallest monkey species this is just a baby like almost 2 months or 3 months old you can see these uh, spikes all around their uh, body and face Look. see it looks like it's it will be carnivorous it will be eating chicken or meat something but this is a herbivore like yeah 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 the kaiyila vandu balliye pidichitirukken so enga iruka adin pathina bangalore vandirken idhu dhaan nammoda modha video bangalore la cover pandrathu so karnataka aquarium ku vandirken inge vandu irukra exotic pets mattum vandu nama paaka porom so anga irukra bro vandu hindi pesuraaru english pesuraaru so namma inda video fulla vandu english la dhaan cover panna porom idhe video tamil la venum appadina solunga keela comment la solunga na ungalku translate panni idhe video tamil la update pandren ஸோ வாங்க இருக்கிற எக்ஸாட்டிக் பெட்ஸ் மட்டும் பார்ப்போம் இங்கே நிறைய இருக்கு அதில் பேர்ட்ஸ்லாம் கவர் பண்ணல ஒன்லி வந்து பெட்ஸ் தான் பார்க்க போகிறோம் ஸோ என்னென்ன அப்படின்றத பார்ப்போம் ஸோ இங்கே வந்து மங்கி இருக்குன்னு நினைக்கிறேன் இதை பற்றி எனக்கு சரியாக தெரியல முதல்ல இது மங்கி தானே கேட்டுருவோம் இஸ் இட் மங்கி ப்ரோ யா இட்ஸ் லைக் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் மங்கி ஃபேம் மங்கிஸ் ஓன்லி தே ஆர் வேர்ல்ட் செகண்ட் ஸ்மாலஸ்ட் மங்கி ஸ்பீசிஸ் they are very famous for their size and their looks you can see their it mouth is their max size max size yeah these which uh-huh. you are watching here these are adult pair fully grown adult fully grown adult okay. they can't grow bigger than this that only is the max size babies will even be very smaller than this size there is one male and one female this guy here is a male that is a female one adult just... uh, available no 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 if you want babies we can arrange babies also if any customer want babies we can arrange babies also and they are very famous pets all over the globe mm-hmm. not here in india mm-hmm. they are very famous uh, as a pet age bro they are like almost 1 year old 1 year old yeah 1 year old male and female just and like uh, they generally have very short life span like around uh, 15 to 18 years maximum 15 to 18 18, 18 years is short yeah short because of the monkeys will live longer oh, as compared okay. to these guys okay okay as like their size their life span is also very short in you know, home how we can maintain this bro so they are they are very easy to maintain you can see they doesn't need a lot of, uh, very big and this closer cage this cage is enough for a pair okay. and for feeding you can see here we are giving them fruits oh, oh. it's very easy meal like you can get it from anywhere from any uh, like any uh, store or any like supermarket you can get the fruits okay. they loves to have sweet content like uh, every sweet fruit you can feed them mm. and even cereal you can give because cereal is also very nutritive for these guys mm-hmm. cereal you can give at the same time they can eat insects also they love super meal worms i'll show you just a second we show them meal worms they will get crazy see these are meal worms okay. as i show them meal worms they are like kind of insectivores they eats fruits also and the insects also mm-hmm. see as i show the like a meal worm they will get crazy see ah 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 now they want the meal worm only okay okay see he got one ha uh, ha uh. and i'll give another one to this guy see they bite uh, na they doesn't bite they are very friendly pets see i you can, i can show mm-hmm. see they are friendly pets but now they have their fruit uh, so okay, okay. they have their feet so okay. they doesn't want me to uh, take off their meal but they got now super meal worm uh, hanging yeah this is for their bedding Okay, like uh, where they can sleep they can warm up their self okay, okay. because they can't sleep simply on the bottom of the edge okay, okay. Uh, so like that we have to keep a soft uh, bedding for them and they are very easy to maintain you just need to keep a water bottle like this rodent water bo- bottle will work mm-hmm. and fruits and mm-hmm. cereal and super meal worms are like kind of option around 3 feet huh? 3 feet and 3 uh, feet by 2 feet cage is more than enough okay, for them enough. more than enough because you can see their size that only is the max size okay. they'll not grow bigger than this mm-hmm. so it's enough for them they can easily uh, they will be very happy in this size cage okay. and you can take them out whenever you want to play you can take them out and you can leave them free in uh, your room okay. and they'll be like jumping and playing around in your living room okay bro they are very photogenic oh, oh. they'll give a lot of pose they'll keep sitting like that only 
uh, what type of reptile group? Uh, these are kind of lizards. These are called basically they are breaded dragons. Mm -hmm. You can see these uh, spikes all around their uh, body and face. Looks scary, bro. That looks scary, but yeah. they are very like uh, kind Some of uh, like, yeah, yeah they are very pretty attractive. animals actually. Yeah. Like yeah. if you know about them, if you like yeah. uh, yeah. have knowledge about the reptiles, yeah. you know like how calm and how pretty animals yeah. they are. Yeah. They are very lovely pets. See, they are not at all hyperactive, they doesn't want to run out, they doesn't mm. want to bite you. Mm. And for these guys, they are also same as like as we covered marmosets, those mm. pocket monkeys. Mm. Like that only they are like uh, kind of insectivorous animals. They eat green leaves also and they love to have uh, mealworms and insects and they love roaches, specifically roaches. This one pair up, no? Yeah, these are, uh, these are at the moment I have breeding pair. Mm -hmm. Babies so will be, grown adult. yeah, these max are fully size. grown max size adult. You can see that only is the max size in my hand. Mm -hmm. You can see how big they can get. So this will be almost like around a uh, little, slightly bigger than one feet. One and a half feet. One and a half feet, right. you can say. And these spikes. Uh, due to these spikes only they are called braided dragons okay. because it looks like weird uh, uh. for that when they get scared these will become very stiff and it will start hurting you but until they are comfortable it will not hurt you at all see i'm touching these spikes okay. but it's not at all like uh, hurting me but as they get scared uh, the spikes will become harder and stiff and they will start hurting you okay. so these are the braided dragons i have a pair male and female here you can see the size, that only is the max size. This is male and female pair. If somebody Life wants. Lifespan, how much? Lifespan, like around 20, 18 to 20 years. Okay. And uh, they are very pretty and calm pets. Mm -hmm. If you want something, any lizard which is very calm, see, you can see it's mm -hmm. sitting in my hand. It's not at all moving. It's very calm and chill. Yeah, posing better than. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they are very photogenic, actually. Uh, uh, uh. They give a lot of like uh, photo pose. Okay. If you want to do any kind of photo shoot, they will be very happy to be seated at the same pose. Okay. for a longer time they can hold on at the same position for a very long time and uh, if you want this breeding pair this we are quoting 95000 pair we in them in any specific temperature no no temperature like, yeah uh, these are, yeah, no no these are not desert animal but mm. still they are reptiles they have cold blood animal mm -hmm. so as we know like they needs heat source in uh, winters to get their food digested and to keep on their movement regulated mm -hmm. to just uh, to just boost their metabolism and digestion you have to give them uv lamp uv light that is a heating bulb mm -hmm. that you can give them in winters and they will be very happy in that Okay, bro. So this is a kind of rodent, spiny mm -hmm. rodent we can say, you know porcupines, mm -hmm. they are kind of same thing, like they are also spiny but they are bigger in size, mm -hmm. so they belongs, these guys belongs to that same family and Bites don't hurt her. Yeah, it will hurt but you can see it's a tamed one, uh -huh. it's not hurting but if it's a wild one they will get scared and they will move their spikes up and that will oh, start oh. hurting you. But you can see this is a tamed one, fully tamed one and it's very comfortable in my hands. Okay. It's not at all bothered. Mm -hmm. So it's a tamed one. So it's an albino, basically albino hedgehog. You can see its eyes. How many colors it's available? In this I have, see here I have like creamino, brown and white. Okay. Albino, okay. full white with red eyes. Mm -hmm. And this is salt and pepper. Here mm -hmm. and here. This is salt and pepper, black and white spikes. Okay. These are called... Uh, mostly which color do you prefer? Uh, mostly people like this albino. albino. White eyes plus okay. full white body and full white spikes. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is albino. You and have breeding pairs. Yeah, I have breeding pairs. These are almost semi-adult. This guy is also a semi-adult. Mm -hmm. And I have breeding pairs also. See how they react when you keep them upside down. Mm -hmm. They will become like a ball. See. Okay. If you make them scared, they will become like a ball. See. It's very happy and very healthy. Uh -huh. It's a female. Very happy and healthy female it is. If you want pairs, I am giving these for 12,000 pairs, all of the colors are same price. Maintain in home bro, set up. Set up, see here, uh, you just have to keep a rodent uh, sipper, sipper water bottle. Rodent means we can keep it in glass tank also. Yeah, glass tank also you can keep, this kind of glass tank also you can okay. use. But uh, you need to keep this kind of sipper bottle for okay. water, for okay. drinking water. They can easily drink water out of that. And uh, for bedding you can use wooden scrap. Okay. You can get it from any local carpenter mm -hmm. and you have to keep checking that it should not get moist mm -hmm. and it should be very dry otherwise they can get infected due to humidity if the that bedding is uh, wet or humid. Mm -hmm. You need to keep them in a warm environment and they are kind of squanges. Mm -hmm. As you can see all of them are sleeping and they are very lazy now mm -hmm. because they are squanges they will be active in night as you turn off the light of the room where you are keeping them 
after that they will come out and they will search for the food and feeding is also very easy for them now you can see i don't have kept any Some food people tell we can train them and uh, huh, it's, them active in yeah food. it's train only see you okay. can see like if you take them out they will be very happy and they will be playing around mm -hmm. but if you li as as you leave into, uh, huh, as you leaves them they will again get to the sleep oh, oh. but as you start interacting them you uh, can't convert them into no 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 still like they can uh, wake up and they can play okay, but okay. Uh, still as you leaves the room they will they will become sleep. lazy yeah they will again go to the sleep and in night they will eat and they will come out they will be active in night okay, okay. and for feeding uh, you, what you have to feed like they they are also insectivorous they will eat uh, insects mealworms super mealworms you can feed and cat food like basically the main diet will be cat food only what you have to do just purchase some wet cat uh, dry cat food pellets and just mm -hmm. soak them in water for 10 15 seconds mm -hmm. as they get softer after that uh, remove the excess water and just keep it in a bowl that only they will eat and you can even give them uh, boiled eggs also mm -hmm. all those things they will eat and they are very easy to maintain see how cute it is it looks very cute I like that salt pepper color only. Okay, it's like a personal, uh, personal, personal opinion, personal taste. You can say like which color you want, but I love this uh, albino white color, white spikes and red eyes. Uh, Specifically for the red eyes, uh, it looks like kind of attractive. So here we have the Madagascar giant day geckos. As you can see, they are quite bigger as compared to the normal geckos, any other gecko. They are kind of lizard only which we see in our household that Indian gecko that is an Indian gecko that common household lizard kind of that only they are they can stick on the side you can see their feet they are sticking on the glass they are lizards and they are kind of big it's lizards bigger than, uh, it's yeah bigger than big than lizards they are giant they are specifically called Madagascar giant day geckos. Their name is day gecko and they belong to Madagascar and their size is big. So they are Madagascar giant day geckos. They will grow till they are like semi adults. Still they will grow up to one and a half feet size. Now you can see like they are almost touching one feet head to tail. But still they will grow slightly bigger. And you can see here I have a lot of pieces here. I have around uh, 8 or 10 pieces of uh, Madagascar day geckos. Mm -hmm. And uh, they have a very unique ability to regrow their uh, tail. Okay. If they get scared, they will drop their tail. Mm -hmm. As you can see here, this guy dropped its tail. If they get scared or bothered, if they get stressed, they will drop their tail. And But still they have ability to regrow their tail as like the other lizards. And, uh, uh, this guy can regrow its tail within like two or three months it will be completely regrown mm. so these are madagascar day geckos for these you need to keep such kind of environment where there should be water all the time and they uh, what eat this stuff bro? this is cocoa pit cocoa pit you can okay, get it from okay. any nursery nearby that is uh, very easy to get it's a cocoa pit for base you can use cocoa pit and on that you can keep some kind of driftwood or any kind of stick where they can uh, climb up and they can feel like they are climbing on some trees or branches where they can feel safe and for feeding you have to feed them roaches and flies which you can get easily from the breeders and even the most of the reptile dealers or uh, uh, these breeders are having these things you can wherever you are purchasing like if you are purchasing from us we can uh, provide you the roaches also so this is the thing that is called day gecko it won't eat uh... no it's not herbivorous you okay. can you only have to feed them like uh, uh, non carnivorous items only like the you can't say carnivorous it's insectivorous 100 percent insectivorous okay. Okay. so here we have the world's second largest tortoise species this is called aldabra and this guy gonna be very big they can grow up to like three and a half feet and they can weigh up to like uh, 600 to 800 kgs oh. and their lifespan is around like 180 years to 250 years like if you have this pet mm. your three next three generations gonna look after this pet okay, okay. so this is here very special uh, tortoise world second largest tortoise how many, and how many years take to grow like it keeps on growing its whole the lifetime oh. like they grows very slowly here you can see it's almost one year old and oh. it's almost like six one inch old, okay. yeah six inch in size but still it's quite bigger as compared to its uh, uh, age okay. because i'm giving it very healthy food i'm giving it Missouri world's best the reptile food okay. so that i got this size in one year otherwise it will be like this much only in one year okay, okay. so that is a good size as uh, compared to its age so it's Pretty. the aldabra and for feeding like all the tortoise as we know they are 100% herbivores mm. they will only eat green leaves vegetables and your fruits nothing else 
Okay. And in vegetables, you can give them any carrot, any green leaf, like whether it is a cabbage or oriental leaf or anything, green leaf and they vegetables. Only. Yeah, they are very slow and steady. Like you can see their uh, life, it's very long. Okay. You can see their lifespan, it's very long. And you can see they are very slow. They doesn't move that fast, you can see. Like they can't run. They'll move very slowly. So we can say they are very it's slow and right steady. To, uh, yeah, it's a very uh, good pet to have. I can race with them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, easily. It's the only for, the, for, the, for the lazy guys, it's a very good pet. But quite expensive. We are okay. giving this for 3,50,000 okay, each okay. piece. And here you can Which see... This pet is uh, most costly in your uh, here at the moment like I have a lot of pets like if you compare them like uh, I have some higher range birds very costly like uh, these uh, you can say hyacinth macau those will be somewhere around like starting only in like 10, 10 lakh oh. each piece hyacinth macau so it can even go uh, up, up than that depends on the quality and their age and if they are tamed or not Okay. like that and here we have a egyptian spiny tail lizard this is also a herbivorous lizard you can see it looks like it's it will be carnivorous it will be eating chicken or meat something but this is a herbivorous like yeah 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 <laughs> this is a herbivorous thing okay it will only eat uh, green leaves and vegetable oh. its scientific name is like uh, euromaxtix it's okay. called euromaxtix the scientific name it is like that euromaxtix but in common language it's called egyptian spiny tail lizard it belongs to sahara deserts of egypt and it's like semi adult it will still grow like one and a half feet size and you can see the spikes it's have like a ring uh, one, and one and a half feet yeah okay. and you can see the ring pattern and the orange color on its tail and body that looks cute yeah. so it's quite like a orange calm lizard yeah orange. there is an indian species of uh, spiny tail lizard but that is full brown that will not be having this kind of orange and uh, uh, black pattern that will be head to tail full brown that doesn't look this beautiful and here you can see it's not like uh, infected or uh, damaged it's just the setting. It's removing its dead scales and now it will regrow the scales. It's kind of natural process. Every uh, two months once or three months once, they'll do shedding. And then you can see its belly. <laughs> we can keep them in glass stand, I guess. Yeah, like as we have done the setup, they need a lot of heat because it lives in deserts where there will be a lot of heat. So if it gets cold, it will become very lazy and it will not be able to digest its food. So, I am keep keeping uh, the tortoise in last time for some. Yeah, yeah, tortoise you can keep, but for the turtles you need water setup. Mm -hmm. Here I am giving this guy a heat pad. Okay. It's uh, keeping the bottom heated and I okay. am uh, giving this UV lamp also. Mm -hmm. So, it's getting proper environment, proper uh, heated environment so that it What uh, it, temperature we need to maintain them? Uh, somewhere around 40 or 41. Oh, so it should be uh, quite warm okay, okay. and these tortoise also lives in desert this is also aldabra i have a pair aldabra if somebody wants male and female okay. and here you can see this cute little guy this is called salkata this is just a baby like almost two months or three months old it's just like kind of hatchling baby only which just came out of the egg and this is like kind of palm sized tortoise but still it's a third second largest species in tortoise Oh. So it will grow up to two and a half feet, so it will be quite big and uh, it can also weigh up to 200 kgs to 300 kgs and this guy have lifespan around 80 to 120 years. So it's slightly as compared to the Aldabra which we have here, second largest tortoise. It's as compared to Aldabra, it's like quite small and uh, have lifespan shorter to this uh, Aldabra. But still it have very good uh, lifespan like 80 to one, uh, 120 years, it will be a lifetime companion for you like if you are keeping this, it will be for a lifetime, a lifelong pet, okay. it will be with you whole the life, if you take care of it properly. And this guy here, it is also 100% vegetarian, all the tortoise will be vegetarian only, if we talk about the turtles, mm. they will be carnivorous, they will eat the... Turtle uh, need water. Huh? Turtle needs water, I will show you the turtles also. Turtle needs water and these tortoise are 100% herbivorous, they will eat only green leaves and vegetables, nothing else. But the turtles do eat fish and carnivorous stuff, so they are not herbivorous, but the tortoise are. So here you can see, as I told, I will show you the turtles also. This is the most common turtle among the Indian market and uh, you can say the cheapest turtle. This radius is slider. radius slider, yeah, you are exactly right. This is radius slider only, it's called radius slider due to that mark you can see. Hmm. On its ear side, it, there is a red mark. So it's called radius slider for that mark only. 
so these are radius slider babies like we are selling these for 1400 pair this is the most common and budget friendly turtle you can say who anybody can afford like if you are interested in having turtles you can get these turtles max, are, size, max size like the female can reach up to 8 to 10 inches mm -hmm. but the male will be slightly shorter as compared to the female it will be like 6 to I eight inches you are going max. to say this also works. No, no, no. These, are, no, no, no. These are turtles. These are most common. These Quite are the common. most cheapest turtles among the yeah. Indian market. But now I'll show you some exotic turtles also. These are the common ones. Oh, you have exotic turtles. Yeah. Also. They don't need water, huh? No, no. no. You ca they can stay outside the water for 24 hours also. But still, they need water. But yeah. for feeding only, I'll use water for the babies. After feeding, I'll take them out and I'll keep them without water. Good. It looks like a turtle have a snake head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you can see, it's kind of combination. You can say like the head exactly looks like a snake, and this is called snake head turtle only, or some people will call it long neck turtle. Okay. This is quite uh, rare in India. It's not that common as the radius slider which I shown before. See how hyperactive it is, and you can see it's neck. Uh, yeah, all the turtles do eat fishes, okay. and yeah. this is the most dominant turtle I can say, like because of the mobility of the oh, neck, oh, oh. it can easily grab the fish. Okay. If you leave the fish in the tank, it won't bite, no? No, no, it doesn't bite. Sometimes they can do, they do bite, but still it's not that uh, harmful. See, okay. they doesn't carry any venom or uh, virus or something like that. Okay. So this is called snake head turtle. They are herbivores. I'm feeding this guy live fishes only. I'm not giving any turtle food or something. So it's completely carnivorous at the moment, but still you can make them eat the turtle uh, food. You can we them. can yeah, you can keep them on turtle food also, or like completely on turtle food. You can see it's like uh, they doesn't grow that big. They'll be like max to max six inch, like this size. Oh. Cell will be like this okay. much only, huh. and the head will still grow a little big, and they'll got little wider also. Like this big only, it'll become okay. nothing else. So it's a snake head turtle. I'm so giving uh, it for benefit. Food. Yeah. Some people like yeah, 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 yeah. It will be like lifespan. Like uh, if we talk about it, as compared to tortoise, the turtles do have shorter lifespan. Mm -hmm. Mostly turtles will live up to like 35 to 55 years, but the tortoise can live up to 80 to 120 years mm -hmm. minimum. Okay, so okay. that is the average. Like turtles, 30, 35 to 50 years, nothing okay. else. So I'm giving this snake head for 45,000 each piece. Mm -hmm. So they are very rare quite expensive because they are exotic they are not that common and it's very hard to get your hand one of these so that is that was the snake at turtle it looks so black yeah it's a uh, egyptian uh, african sorry i told egyptian it's african eastern mud turtle you can see it's jet black from its top like it's the turtle, cell is uh. jet black yeah it's a turtle only it will live in water and it's a side neck turtle it's not a slider it's not a snake head turtle it's a side neck turtle this guy cannot take its whole neck inside okay. so it will stick that neck to the side like this okay. so these are called side neck turtles and the unique part about this turtle is the color from the belly you can see the white color and from the top you can see the jet black color okay. and one more thing like none of the any of the other turtle or tortoise can move any part of their cell they can only move their feet they can only move the tail a little bit and they can only move the head but you can see this guy here you can see the partition yes this guy can move its cell part see this oh, oh, this oh. part can move okay so it's natural it's not broken it looks like it's broken from I here but it's not broken no no it's not broken it's okay. natural see yeah. as it gets scared it will try to close it okay, up see? okay as you can see it tries to close it up it works as like a self defense mechanism okay, okay. that makes this turtle very unique and rare okay. like it's not that common you can't find it anywhere they are very less in number so that is the unique part it can move the cell part okay and the jet black color of the top cell that looks really beautiful if you have something like this this is exotic pal kela paambe ivula pakatha na paathave kadaiyadu so idha vandu first time idhu vandu ball python so idha patti sollunga so this is a ball python which you can see like they are called ball python for their sitting posture like this it's like kind of a ball structure in that only they'll sit so, so for that only they are called ball pattern huh? no, no no they don't have ball pattern but okay. they sits like kind of in ball shape okay. So for that they are called ball python. They doesn't stretch their whole body all the time. For that these are called ball python. As you can see, it's looking very small, but still it's like one and a half feet now only. Oh, you can see the size. It won't bite, ah? Uh? No, no, they don't bite. They are very the most calm species I can say. 
Sure. In pythons, they are the most. Rare cases also, nah, they don't. Want rare, ca- they can bite. See, it's a python only. They are animals. Any okay. animal can bite. Even okay. if you have a cat or a dog, that also Why can bite. Why? But you can't sell any venomous reptile in India. Uh, in India, oh, all the okay. venomous reptiles are illegal to sell in India. Okay. So these are hundred percent non-venomous and hundred percent safe to have as a pet. Okay. So this is a uh, male ball python. Basically, and uh, their max size is almost around five and half feet. The female only can touch five and half feet, and the male only. How many varieties you have in snakes? In snakes, I have almost around like hundred uh, varieties, different varieties. Hundred varieties. Yeah, different species. Okay. And in ball only, you can get like around one fifty different uh, patterns, different species, or uh, we don't say different species. Species is ball only, but you can say moth. Okay. Mutation. Okay. Different okay. Uh, mutations color. you can yeah different okay. color patterns. Those are called morphs and mutations. Those mutations I have a lot of mutations, but not here at the moment. Maybe by next time we'll show you in your video some exotic okay. rare morphs of ball python. Uh, so it comes in a lot of morphs. So this is the most basic one, which is native to Africa. This is called the royal ball python. You can see its face. It's the royal ball python. Okay. And this is the most common one and the cheapest one in ball python. This I'm giving for thirty-two thousand each piece as of now. It's offer price. You will never get this price anywhere else. Okay. So this is offer price thirty two thousand each piece. If anybody is interested in having some snake or python, you need to feed them. Yeah? Uh, feed for this size baby, you need to feed pinkies. Pinkies. Later when they grow slightly big, like uh, grow uh, mice or that. Huh? Nah, you can get it from the breeders. Oh, okay. It's very cheap actually. Uh, uh. uh and uh, later when they grow big, like around two feet or two and a half feet, on that time you can give them mice, also adult mice, banded mice, mm. hood mi- hooded mice, mm. and any other mice, but not the Indian uh, that Indian. common rat because they carry a lot of bacteria and viruses and fleas and ticks that can be harmful for the python that ki- that can even result into its death okay. if it carries any virus or bacteria or any disease so don't feed any local rat so they can be very dangerous for them so try to feed them very hygienic mice which uh, banded mice can be a very good option that is cheap like 350 rupees pair easily you can get and weekly once only you have to feed not daily weekly once Weekly once, if you feed it, means for a week, nothing to worry. This, And this size, uh, how many pinkies we need to feed them? Only one or two. Depends on the hours. python if it's hungry for a longer time. Like if you doesn't have feeded it for like two weeks, it will take two pinkies or even yeah. three pinkies at a time. But one mostly means, uh, smaller one, like okay. hairless mice, newborn okay. mice. You can say that is that only is called pinky. Okay. So pinkies you have to feed for this size baby. This is baby only. Still, it will grow quite thick and quite long. Mm-hmm. So these are ball pythons, and in snakes I have a lot of varieties. Like you can get a king snake, mm-hmm. not the king cobra, <laughs> that is illegal. Uh-huh. You can get a Mexican king snake, you can get corn snake babies, you can get uh, 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 these uh, what we say mangrove snakes, and you can get in pythons if we say you can get uh, uh, sand boas. constrictor Which boas most people likes bro which one moves bro? this is the most common and this is the most moving oh, python oh, oh. because for its reasonable price because some, if somebody is starting in these things for display man yeah uh, we we keeps them in display if you are visiting the store you can see them you can have a look on them okay. so if you visit karnataka aquarium you can see all these things at the store these are always available in store any time if it's not available in store you can do booking within maximum 15 to 20 days i'll give you one if it's not available in store so you can do advance booking also for this